Number 10. Soyuz Rocket Russia's newest launching site for spacecraft is located several hundred miles inland from the Pacific coast in the country's Far East region. This is where Soyuz rockets blast off into space, dropping their stages on the remote Yakusha region below as they travel away from the Earth. Each rocket sheds its four boosters, which represent the first stage, two minutes after takeoff. The second stage, known as Block A, comes next. Yakusha is sparsely populated, meaning that the chance of a rocket component falling on a person or their home or vehicle is minimal. But the damage could be catastrophic and deadly if this happened. In keeping with the idea of better safe than sorry, the Russian government has established designated landing zones for these parts to ensure that they don't descend on residential areas. In late 2020, Dmitry Rogozin, the chief of Russia's space program, tweeted photos of the Block A stage of a Soyuz rocket that had recently launched. In the comments, he made a smart remark wondering if the staff from SpaceX could handle working in conditions as harsh as the Russian scientists encounter in Yakusha, which is known for its extreme frigid climate and year-round freezing conditions. Rogozin further pointed out that the team recovered the discarded parts in minus 52 degree temperatures. Some commenters came to the defense of SpaceX, pointing out that the agency has developed a far better and smarter rocket, thus eliminating the need for employees to recover discarded components in the middle of a freezing nowhere. Number 9. Russian Woodpecker Radar From 1976 to 1989, shortwave radios around the world picked up a bizarre, unexplained noise. It was generated by a strong signal and sounded like repetitive tapping, earning it the nickname of the woodpecker. But for a long time, nobody knew what the sound was or where it was coming from. The general consensus among experts was that the source was an over-the-horizon radar system. Their suspicions were confirmed after the Soviet Union fell when the world learned about the existence of two massive 50-story antennas located in the Russian wilderness. Known as the Duga radar, it was part of a warning system that was designed to detect incoming missiles. One of the antennas dubbed Duga-1 was in Chernobyl, the other Duga-2 was in Siberia, and it was positioned toward the Pacific Ocean so it could detect enemy missiles coming from the direction of the American West Coast. Unlike conventional radar, which can typically only see as far as the horizon, these impressive devices saw over the horizon by bouncing signals off the ionosphere. They were capable of doing this thanks to their extremely strong transmitters. The system was designed to detect a missile within two or three minutes of one being launched. Its signal was so strong that it interfered with flight, shipping, and civilian communications, as well as TV broadcasts. But without knowing the source of the irritating noise, nobody could resolve the thousands of complaints that came pouring in to authorities. NATO traced the signal to the Soviet Union, pointing numerous countries in the proper direction for voicing their frustrations. But the USSR denied having anything to do with the sound, and the antenna sites were disguised as children's camps on maps. Russian officials finally admitted that the country was responsible for the signal after the Soviet Union fell in the early 90s. While that solves one major mystery, there are many lingering questions surrounding the Duga radar. It's possible that Western authorities may never know the exact details of the program or how it worked. The system is no longer in use, but the woodpeckers remain standing as rusting testaments to the lengths that governments went to to protect their countries at the height of the Cold War. Number 8. A Cave Full of Bones over a decade ago, scientists discovered an underground cave filled with remarkably preserved human and animal bones in the Saudi Arabian desert. They called the site Umm Jirsan. This is where a group of striped hyenas came around 7,000 years ago to feast on their food. Hyenas are known for being bone collectors and for their tendency to voraciously consume what they scavenge, including sometimes the creature's skeleton. The cache of bones found at Umm Jirsan consisted of at least 14 species, including camels, donkeys, goats, and horses, as well as fragments of at least two human skulls. Hyena bones were also found, indicating that the species sometimes resorts to cannibalism. Researchers investigated the site last year and said that the findings are potentially valuable for learning more about what types of animals ancient humans may have raised in the region. They plan to explore similar sites in hopes of finding out more about our ancestors' daily lives. Number 7. Muchalapka In rural Poland near the Czech border, there's a huge concrete ten-sided structure nicknamed Hitler's Stonehenge or Muchalapka. It was built by the Nazis during World War II when the area was part of Germany, but researchers aren't really sure what its intended use or purpose actually was. Some speculate that the strange structure was built as a missile launch site. Others believe it could be the unfinished base of a water cooling tower, while more imaginative theories suggest that the construction served as a launching pad for flying saucers or a time travel machine. Some even claim that Hitler didn't die, 
but that he boarded an acorn-shaped machine at the site and escaped to another dimension as the Allies encroached on Nazi Germany. Beneath the structure, there's a series of underground tunnels that were built between 1943 and 1945 as part of a secret operation called Project Riza. None of the tunnels were ever finished. Do you believe any of these wild theories? Do you have any of your own? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Number 6. Bizarre Monoliths In late 2020, three mysterious monoliths appeared in Utah, California, and Romania over a several-week span. The first sighting happened in the Utah desert in late November. Helicopter crews and wildlife biologists were counting bighorn sheep from overhead when they noticed a conspicuously out-of-place 11-foot-tall stainless steel object with a mirrored surface. Nobody knows who created the monument. Soon after it appeared, four unidentified men were allegedly seen dismantling it and carrying the pieces away. They reportedly told an onlooker that they were disposing of trash. Their association with the sculpture, if any, remains a mystery to this day. Days later, a 13-foot-tall triangular monolith appeared on a hill in the Romanian town of Piatra Neamt. Not long after that, another strange structure measuring 10 feet tall sprang up on Pine Mountain in Atascadero, California. Some speculate that the monuments were inspired by a storyline from the science fiction novel 2001 A Space Odyssey. In the story, a monolith appears on Earth and gives wisdom to a tribe of apes. But a solid real-life explanation for the cryptic structures was never established, leaving us to wonder if it was all a giant hoax or if there's a meaningful story behind them. Officials later determined that the monoliths were created as artwork. It's unknown who's responsible for the structures that appeared in Utah and California, which were created by someone other than the artist who built the sculpture that was found in Romania. Sadly, some of the monoliths attracted throngs of curious visitors to protected areas where the sudden influx of crowds permanently damaged the surrounding environment, according to a joint statement from base jumper Andy Lewis and adventure guide Sylvan Christensen, who filmed themselves dismantling the Utah monument. Oddly, the duo's Instagram post addressing the matter has since been deleted. Number 5. Mummified Sailor's Goodbye Letter in March 2016, a group of fishermen spotted a visibly battered yacht called the Sayo roughly 40 miles off the Philippine coast. It belonged to a 59-year-old sailor named Manfred Fritz Bajarat, who also happened to be missing. Inside the yacht, the fishermen found Bajarat's mummified remains. The deceased man, who was last seen seven years earlier in 2009, was slumped over at his desk, next to the boat's radio telephone. Photo albums, clothes, document, and food containers were strewn about the yacht's partially water-filled cabin. No one knows when or why the experienced sailor died. Investigators found no weapons aboard and no evidence that Bajarat had another person on the yacht at any point during his ill-fated voyage. In other words, there was no signs of foul play. Bajarat's remains were well-preserved owing to the hot temperatures, salty air, and dry ocean winds. Forensic scientists concluded that he may have become mummified within weeks of dying and that he may have died from a heart attack or a stroke. In addition to the man's body, detectives found a letter Bajarat wrote to his wife Claudia in 2010 aboard the yacht. The couple had broken up in 2008, two years before Claudia passed away from cancer in Martinique. Bajarat wrote the goodbye note following her death. The letter states, 30 years we've been together on the same path, then the power of the demons was stronger than the will to live. You're gone. May your soul find its peace. Your Manfred. Number 4. A Real Desert Oasis in the vast expanse of Egypt's western desert, there's a historic town called Siwa. It has isolation to thank for the preservation of its culture and language. Siwa's 25,000 inhabitants are ethnic Berbers who originated from a nomadic North African tribe. They're also known as Amazigs, and they speak a Berber dialect called Siwi. The town is located 341 miles from Cairo, which is roughly a five-hour bus ride. For centuries, the only contact the oasis had with the so-called outside world was with traders and occasional pilgrims who passed through the region. This limited interaction with outsiders enabled Siwa's residents to retain their unique culture with relative ease. Today, the oasis has become somewhat of a tourist attraction. This paradise in the desert features natural cool springs, a hot spring, leisurely cafes, date palms and olive trees, an eco-lodge made of mud and salt, and an overall inviting atmosphere. Due to its remoteness, Siwa isn't overrun with tourists, making for a truly authentic experience. Number 3. Secret Military Base While using Google Earth last year, a curious internet user noticed what they suspected was a secret military base near the Libyan border in Ur-Rui, Niger. Located in a remote part of the Sahara Desert, the site appears to consist of several buildings and vehicles, a landing strip, a fence marking the property's perimeter, and what looks like several landmines. The person who noticed the site posted an image to Reddit, prompting Lad Bible to investigate. The team found that the property is in fact an active military base. 
It's not necessarily a secret, but it's safe to assume that it was built in the middle of nowhere to avoid prying eyes. Known as the Aerodrome Madama, the property is a French military base, and there are around 100 soldiers from Niger's military stationed there. It was built in 1931 at the site of a former colonial fort. Today, it operates as a border post that monitors travel between Niger and Libya. While the Google Maps enthusiast who brought attention to the site mistakenly thought its existence was a secret, they were right about the property being surrounded by landmines and a fence. Number 2. An Isolated Mining Village Nicknamed white gold or saltpeter, potassium nitrate is a chemical compound that was in extremely high demand during the 19th and part of the 20th centuries. Mined from a nitrate-rich layer of desert called caliche, it was used as fertilizer and came in handy when it came to feeding Europe's burgeoning population at the time. Throughout that period, most of the world's saltpeter supply came from the former Chilean mining town of Humberstone in the Atacama Desert. It was one of several dozen mining towns in the country whose economy relied heavily on its saltpeter exports. Founded as La Palma in 1872, Humberstone was home to an estimated 3,500 residents at its peak. It was located extremely far from civilization, including other mining towns, and had very limited contact with the outside world. Chile's saltpeter industry collapsed in the early 20th century due to warfare and the development of other fertilizers. Humberstone was consequently abandoned over a roughly 30-year period, with its final residents leaving in 1961. Its ruins are still there to this day, standing as a testament to the difficult conditions workers endured there and the once booming industry that they served. The site still contains the decaying remains of workers' houses, machinery, warehouses, a theater, a church, and a hotel. Number 1. Ancient Rock Art In late 2020, archaeologists announced the shocking discovery of ancient rock art inside a remote, unmapped cave in Thailand's Sam Roy National Park. Made from a pigment called ochre, the drawings consist of an antelope, a humanoid figure, and a family with interlocking arms. The artwork is estimated to be between 2,000 and 3,000 years old. A team led by archaeologist Kaniga Primjai spent months searching the park, which is located roughly four hours south of Bangkok. Combing through the jungle was no easy task and required the help of a machete-wielding park ranger who cut paths through the dense foliage for the researchers. Navigating steep rocky terrain to access the caves was just as challenging as forging a trail through the greenery. The team finally discovered the prehistoric rock art after searching 40 other caves with no luck. A group of hunter-gatherers probably made the drawings while camping in the mountains, according to Noel Hidalgo Tan of Southeast Asia's Regional Center for Archaeology and Fine Arts, who spoke with AFP. And there may be more artwork waiting to be discovered throughout Thailand's caves. But between the country's understaffed Department of Fine Arts and the challenges of trekking through the unexplored terrain, these future discoveries will come infrequently at best. Thanks for watching. Have you ever found something strange in the middle of nowhere? Tell us about it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.